Hello everyone to my video on MQL5 programming and neural networks. This uh, part two is more about the uh, member variables um, and we probably will get to forward propagation. So we only have about 15 minutes so let's let's make let's make magic happen. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a whole bunch of uh, variables. So int m underscore deep int m underscore depth string m underscore symbol. I'm going to declare a array close. Sorry, I shouldn't have done that. There's no zero there. It's force of habit. M matrix M underscore input. Matrix M underscore pred underscore input. Enum underscore time frames m underscore tf and these are going to be the matrices for the deep calculation so m underscore z2 So this becomes A2, this becomes Z3, and then we need a matrix for matrix M underscore Y hat. We need a double Y underscore correct. And then we need double M underscore alpha. And I think we're going to now do the constructor because the constructor is what's fun. I think that's the fun part, personally. So WNN, WNN. Okay, and we're just setting a bunch of variables. Symbol and then M underscore depth equals how do I always do that? And then here we go, history underscore depth M underscore deep is the number of neurons number of neurons M underscore TF equals time frame obviously time frame M underscore alpha which we discussed is the threshold for the training. E is equal to alpha. Okay, now we're gonna create some random matrices here. So, well, first we're gonna create the matrix, then we're gonna make them random. So, we're gonna say random um, LSTM one M underscore deep matrix random weight one m underscore depth m underscore deep
matrix random underscore w2 m underscore deep one okay matrix we should be able to use matrix random matrix there it is matrix random random one we're just going to copy and paste this so we're loading up the random values into the matrices so this is two and this is LSTM and now we need to assign the public variables that we've declared as these uh, random matrices so w underscore one equals random one copy that two two and then lstm underscore lstm there we go array size now this one is the uh, more interesting one so we have to have some data to train on so we're going to declare this m underscore depth here plus five zero um, so we're basically changing the size of the array now we're also going to initialize m y hat dot in it one one and then m underscore y hat zero zero equals negative one and the y underscore correct equals negative one so we've done the constructor um, now I think we can I think we have time for the forward propagation and the cost function the training and the prediction are going to be the uh, the the creme de la creme, the meat and cheese, the uh, height and the apex. So, um, yeah, let's go up here. Uh, matrix. No, no, no. Yes, sorry, a matrix. 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 Uh, forward prop, forward underscore prop and then the cost function double cost all right so that's nice that's really 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 nice um, Actually, I think I'm going to set this to zero. This is going to be zero just in case. Right? That's what I have it in my notes. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, the forward prop and the cost function are really, like, not too terribly difficult to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to say matrix, because it's going to return a matrix. W N N forward prop <clears throat> and now with the forward propagation we're basically going to do some matrix multiplication and 
I'm going to look in my notes. There it is. So we have um, some of these public uh, matrices here. So we're going to say this guy equals m underscore input dot matrix multipli multiplication. And we're going to put in w underscore 1. We're going to add our long term our uh, memory cell so there's the memory cell that's the memory cell and then we are going to do m underscore a underscore 2 equals matrix sigmoid m underscore Z2 and then M underscore Z3 is going to equal M underscore A underscore 2 dot matrix multiplication and we're going to have we're going to put the weight 2 in there And then M underscore Y hat is going to equal matrix sigmoid M underscore Z three. And return M underscore Y hat. <clears throat> that is exceptional. Now we're to compile this. It says we have array size parameter count um, 88. Where, where is that? Uh, 88 array size oh I meant to say array resize so let's go back up here array resize re size All right, everything's doing very, very well here. The last one is the cost function for this video. The cost function is incredibly simple. So it's going to be a double WNN cost. And I think I can look, do it without looking, double J equals 0.5 times Y underscore correct minus M underscore Y hat and then this is all going to be squared so power times power Weird. Let's see if I got it right. Let's see if I got it right. Um, the cost. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. We don't need these. These are extra. Never give yourself extra parentheses. It's just a nightmare. And then. It's at 102. We need a return value, right? So we have to return J. There we go. That's it for this video. In the last video, part three, 
we are going to go over the training and we are going to go over the prediction. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day.